that throughout history, the United States has consistently led the way in aviation, crafting some of the world's most advanced aircraft. However, in a groundbreaking turn of events, recent developments have seen the integration of laser technology into their jets. These laser-equipped aircraft are nothing short of a game-changer poised for action. As they take flight, the fusion of aviation expertise and cutting-edge laser systems heralds a new era in military capabilities, pushing the boundaries of what air vessels can achieve. What specific advancements and capabilities does the integration of laser technology bring to these laser-equipped aircraft? How does the integration of laser guns impact the strategic landscape of aerial warfare? Join us as we explore the U.S. fighter jet with a laser gun ready for action. The history of U.S. fighter jets represents an incredible journey of technological progress. Starting from the early days of aviation in World War I with iconic planes like the Spad the Three and Sopwith Camel, the evolution has been remarkable, showcasing a relentless pursuit of innovation in aviation. Skilled pilots have always wielded fighter jets as potent instruments of war, but their power has recently reached extraordinary levels. Modern combat aircraft now boast laser weaponry that can penetrate even the toughest armor and come equipped with advanced defense systems. This is just the beginning of their remarkable potential. The bond between pilots and their aircraft has deepened, blurring the lines between man and machine. These cutting-edge jets can deploy drones armed with electromagnetic waves to disrupt electronic systems, as well as kamikaze drones with armor-piercing charges for devastating attacks. These high-altitude capabilities come at a significant cost, but enable actions like satellite destruction and mind-reading technology. The Pentagon, recognizing the need to regain air superiority and advance fighter jet technology, initiated a remarkable project. Several U.S. fighter jets have undergone or proposed laser integration, such as the F-15EX, F-35, and the U.S. Air Force's Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator program, offering advantages like increased lethality and extended engagement ranges. Ongoing research and development efforts are crucial for making laser-equipped fighter jets a reality involving collaboration between the U.S. Department of Defense, defense contractors, and research institutions. Deploying these systems comes with technical challenges and safety considerations, but there is also the possibility of exporting laser-equipped fighter jets to U.S. allies. The AN-SEQ-3 laser weapon system aboard the USS Ponce demonstrates the adaptability and effectiveness of laser technology, countering threats like drones and small boats. Lockheed Martin's Advanced Test High Energy Asset Laser System acts as a robust counter-drone solution, while Boeing and the U.S. Army's High Energy Laser Mobile Demonstrator has proven effective against various threats, highlighting its potential in modern defense strategies. Lockheed Martin's creation, the Advanced Test High Energy Asset Laser Weapon System, represents a significant milestone in laser technology. This ground-based system is intentionally designed as a robust solution for countering drones. Athena, aside from its primary role, showcases its versatility and effectiveness against various small unmanned aerial systems in diverse defense scenarios. Boeing and the U.S. Army's collaborative efforts have given rise to the High Energy Laser Mobile Demonstrator designed for rigorous testing. Shell MD has demonstrated its effectiveness in engaging a range of threats, including drones, rockets, artillery shells, and mortars. Its adaptability and success in these tasks underscore its potential in modern defense strategies. The United States remains at the forefront of laser weapon technology, exemplified by a substantial contract awarded to Lockheed Martin by the U.S. Army. This contract, granted under the Other Transaction Authority, has a maximum value of $220.8 million. Its primary objective is facilitating the development, integration, manufacturing, testing, and delivery of an indirect fire protection capability, high-energy laser prototype weapon system. 
This underscores the nation's unwavering commitment to counter contemporary security challenges through advanced laser systems effectively. The ambitious project to enhance laser technology within the U.S. military arsenal received significant support from the Army, which allocated $154 million from the fiscal 2023 budget, with potential additional funding until mid-October 2025. While specific details about competing prototypes and Lockheed Martin's deliverables remain undisclosed, the contract signifies a substantial dedication to advancing laser technology for military applications. It reinforces the nation's determination to maintain a technological edge in addressing modern security challenges and underscores its commitment to innovative defense solutions. Lockheed Martin, well regarded in high energy laser projects, has a track record of developing high powered laser systems. Notably, the company previously created a 300-kilowatt laser as part of the Pentagon's High Energy Laser Scaling Initiative. In March 2023, the Army's Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office sought industry input for lasers in the 100-plus kilowatt class, indicating ongoing efforts to advance laser technology. The IFPC Shell project has a broad mandate aiming to protect stationary and semi-fixed sites against various threats, including cruise missiles, rockets, artillery, mortars, unmanned aerial systems, and rotary and fixed-wing threats. The project involves developing up to four complete Hell weapon systems, each comprising the laser, beam control, beam director, battle management, and power and thermal management components. These systems are expected to be delivered within 20 months after the contract award and will undergo live fire testing against operationally relevant targets to ensure their suitability for operational deployment. The United States leads in the global development of high-energy laser weapons, investing approximately $1 billion annually through the Department of Defense in advancing directed energy systems including high-energy lasers and high-powered microwave weapons. These technologies offer cost-effective and efficient alternatives to traditional munitions and have applications in countering drone swarms, mitigating rocket and artillery threats, and providing short-range air defense. The U.S. military actively engages in high-energy laser weapon projects, collaborating with leading defense manufacturers such as Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, Northrop Grumman, and Boeing. Recent acquisitions of high-energy laser systems by the U.S. Air Force and Navy from Lockheed Martin underscore the practicality and potential of this cutting-edge weaponry, reaffirming the United States' position at the forefront of military innovation to address future security challenges. The development of the next-generation Air Dominance, also known as the NGAD fighter jet, signifies a paradigm shift in fighter aircraft design and capabilities. Designed by Northrop Grumman, this innovative aircraft places a strong emphasis on defensive capabilities, making it stealthier, faster, and more ergonomic than its predecessors. It introduces groundbreaking features that set it apart. One notable feature of the NGAD is its unique stealth skin, which not only reflects radar waves but can also block lasers. This advanced capability renders laser-based attacks ineffective. The SR-71 Blackbird inspires this technology and includes a special paint that dissipates heat throughout the airframe, making it challenging for adversaries to target the aircraft using lasers. The NGAD is projected to reach altitudes of at least 65,000 to 70,000 feet and attain top speeds of approximately Mach 2.8. While the F-22, its predecessor, was known for its extreme maneuverability, the NGAD may prioritize larger internal fuel tanks and a heavier weapons payload over extreme maneuverability. This shift aims to enhance the aircraft's overall operational effectiveness. Moreover, the NGAD's design is adaptable to meet the unique demands of different theaters. For example, it can be optimized for the vast distances of the Pacific Theater, with large wings and substantial fuel tanks for extended range. This strategic shift is significant, 
as previous fighter aircraft development mainly focused on Europe and Russia. The NGAD's ability to cater to the specific requirements of the Pacific Theater represents a groundbreaking departure from traditional practices. The NGAD's stealth capabilities are a point of great interest. While some speed may be traded for stealth, the aircraft's design ensures that it remains undetectable by adversaries until the last possible moment. This heightened level of stealth extends across various radar bandwidths, ensuring comprehensive invisibility to enemy radar. Recent observations have noted the presence of unusual metallic panels on various aircraft, including F-22s, F-35s, and older F-117s. Although the exact purpose remains undisclosed, these aircraft are likely undergoing testing for potential upgrades or applying a new form of stealth treatment, possibly in preparation for the NGAD. Sensors are crucial components of the NGAD's capabilities. While fifth-generation fighters use active electronically scanned array radars to reduce electronic emissions visibility, the NGAD may take a different approach. The manned fighter might forego an AESA radar, relying on escort aircraft to fulfill this function. This strategy can make the manned platform harder to detect, enhancing its survivability in contested environments. Additionally, the NGAD is expected to include an infrared search and track system to identify stealth aircraft by their heat signatures, further enhancing its offensive and defensive capabilities. The NGAD's engines are of paramount importance, given its mission to penetrate deep into enemy territory and operate independently of tanker support. The Adaptive Engine Transition Program has been a major focus since 2007, aiming to develop engines with greater thrust and fuel efficiency. These engines offer adaptability to mission conditions, enabling enhanced kinematic performance and efficient fuel usage. The AETP program encompasses two engines, GE Aviation's XA100 and Pratt Amp Whitney's XA101. Both have progressed to the testing phase, with durability and other tests expected over the next two years. These engines can generate 45,000 pounds of thrust, providing the NGAD with increased power for various mission requirements. Moreover, they can channel more electricity to electronic warfare systems or directed energy weapons compared to current fighter engines. These engines are also believed to contribute to the NGAD's stealth by reducing its heat signature. The Air Force and industry experts have indicated that the AETP program has always been directed toward the NGAD. After testing and fine-tuning, these engines are expected to be ready for production around 2027, aligning with the timeline for equipping the first production representative NGAD test aircraft. Additionally, the Air Force is considering applying this technology to power the Block 4 version of the F-35 fighter. The Navy has its own NGAD-like program, and it will likely utilize the same AETP engines being developed for the Air Force's NGAD. Future iterations of the NGAD may involve tailless designs to reduce radar cross-sections further. The Air Force and Navy are not aiming to create a joint aircraft like the F-35, but rather a series of aircraft in smaller lots, typically ranging from 50 to 100 units, with updated versions appearing every five to eight years. The Air Force is also interested in involving small businesses in the competition for digital designs. The NGAD's weaponry is a critical aspect of its capabilities. The primary weapon for the NGAD is expected to be the AM-260A Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, currently under development by Lockheed Martin. Designed to counter long-range threats such as China's PL-15 air-to-air missile, the JATM aims to restore the U.S.'s ability to achieve first shot, first kill in dogfighting, ensuring air superiority. It offers extended range, making it a formidable weapon against adversaries. The JTM likely incorporates a multi-mode seeker, including infrared and millimeter wave radar, enhancing its target acquisition capabilities. To maintain stealth, 
The F-22 is expected to carry the JATM internally, aligning with the dimensions of the AIM-120A AMRAAM, its primary weapon today. The modular design of the JATM allows for incorporating advanced seekers and warheads, potentially adapting it for air-to-air -air or air-to-ground missions. Another classified weapon system, the Modular Advanced Missile, is slated for kinematic tests on a fighter in 2023, according to Air Force budget documents. The MAM is expected to feature interchangeable warheads and seekers, making it versatile for different mission profiles. Additionally, it may include a stackable and modular propellant system for extended range. Two other missile systems, the Long Range Engagement Weapon by Raytheon and the Long Range Air-to-Air -air Missile by Boeing, could be variations of the MAM. Both possess modular characteristics that enable additional propulsion segments for increased range. The Peregrine, developed by Raytheon, offers enhanced speed and range in a smaller form factor, ideal for escort aircraft within the NGAD family. Similarly, Lockheed Martin's CUDA features unique control systems and is part of the NJAD's suite of advanced weapons. These missiles may be intended for later iterations of the NGAD or its successor, showcasing the continuous drive for improvement. Hypersonic weapons, known for their extreme speed and agility, are not just for striking ground targets. Senior Pentagon officials have advocated using air-breathing hypersonic systems as future air-to-air -air weapons. These systems can reduce the flight time from the shooter to the target aircraft, offering a significant engagement advantage. A standout feature among the NGAD's advanced capabilities is the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, known as SHIELD. SHIELD represents a groundbreaking leap in laser weapon technology, designed to provide fighters with a powerful and precise defensive capability. With the ability to neutralize threats at the speed of light, SHIELD enhances the fighter's survivability and effectiveness in contested airspace. The weapon's precision pointing and control, line of sight stabilization, and adaptive optics, all developed by Lockheed Martin, contribute to its formidable performance. The collaborative effort to develop SHIELD involves three prominent defense contractors, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin. Each contractor plays a vital role in this project, combining their expertise to create a comprehensive laser weapon system. Northrop Grumman focuses on delivering the weapon's beam control system, which ensures the laser's accuracy and effectiveness. Boeing is tasked with delivering the pod subsystem responsible for mounting various components provided by Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin to the aircraft's underside. Lockheed Martin, with its 40 years of specialization in laser weapon development, is entrusted with delivering the laser itself, named LANCE, signifying laser advancements for next-generation compact environments. Lockheed Martin discreetly delivered Lance to the Air Force in February 2022, demonstrating rapid progress in developing advanced laser systems and paving the way for imminent deployment. Lance leverages technology-building blocks from internal research and development projects, including the Army's robust Electric Laser Initiative program, suggesting it could be a 60,000-watt class laser weapon, marking a significant advancement in laser power and effectiveness. Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman have released concept artwork depicting the potential sixth-generation fighter, which may incorporate the shield laser weapon currently under development. While Lockheed Martin's concept art does not explicitly show a laser shot, it shares essential similarities with the artwork released by Northrop Grumman indicating that both companies depict the same fighter with identical capabilities. In response to Gulf region tensions, the U.S. deploys a multifaceted approach, including potential NGAD fighter use. Additional measures involve laser-equipped aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford M113 transformation into a robotic combat vehicle and laser-equipped B-1B bomber utilization. The USS Gerald R. Ford is an extraordinary engineering marvel, 
driven by two massive nuclear reactors, each weighing over a thousand tons. These reactors provide the carrier with exceptional longevity and the ability to generate continuous power equivalent to sustaining an entire city. At its core, the carrier is equipped with Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors, producing a remarkable 700 megawatts of power, equivalent to 952,000 horsepower, or nearly 2 million combined horsepower delivered by its massive electric motors. Each of these motors is the size of four pickup trucks stacked together, offering a substantial power output of 1.5 million horsepower. Due to its immense size and weight, the USS Gerald R. Ford is not known for agility, but its colossal capabilities compensate for this drawback. Stretching 100 feet in length, 260 feet in width, towering at 245 feet in height, and weighing 100,000 tons, it holds the prestigious title of the world's largest aircraft carrier. This vast expanse allows it to accommodate a variety of aircraft, helicopters, and UAVs, including cutting-edge fifth-generation fighter jets. One of the carrier's key defensive assets is Lockheed Martin's Laws Shipboard Laser System, which harnesses substantial power from the carrier's nuclear reactor. This system provides sustained offensive capabilities against hostile aircraft and missiles with an effective range of three miles. The laser's formidable strength can disrupt aircraft electronics or eliminate projectiles approaching the carrier. The RIM-116 is another vital component in the carrier's formidable arsenal, designed for incapacitating and destroying adversary aircraft. This advanced gun system resembles a creation from science fiction, with a magazine housing 20 missiles. Each missile can intercept targets at an impressive range of 6 miles, reaching formidable flight speeds of over 2,200 miles per hour. The transformation of the M113 into a robotic combat vehicle signifies a revolutionary advancement in military technology, far beyond mere refurbishment. This significant shift was showcased at the Army's Edge 22 Technology Exhibition at Dugway Proving Ground, leaving spectators in awe. The RCV is equipped with state-of-the-art optics, providing remote operators with panoramic 360-degree situational awareness akin to having eyes around the vehicle. This enhanced visual capability allows for precise target acquisition and tracking, providing the robotic combat vehicle with a substantial advantage in identifying and neutralizing threats in dynamic combat scenarios. Mounted atop this technological marvel is the R-150 Weapon Station from Electro Optic Systems. This versatile weapon station features a thermal imaging camera and a laser rangefinder, enabling precise targeting. It can house a .50 caliber heavy machine gun or an Arnold Defense 4 shot land LGR-4 laser-guided weapon system. The land LGR-4, capable of launching 70mm APKWS rockets, boasts an impressive 100% success rate when engaging targets up to 6 kilometers away, extending its operational range to an outstanding 8 kilometers. This level of firepower establishes the robotic combat vehicle as a formidable force capable of engaging a wide range of threats with lethal precision. The B-21 Raider, operating at an impressive speed of 685 miles per hour, is one of the fastest aircraft ever constructed. What sets it apart is its autonomous control, precision laser weaponry, and the ability to execute devastating carpet bombings or conduct nuclear strikes against adversaries. The aircraft's value exceeds twice its weight in gold, and its combat capabilities are sufficient to cause widespread destruction in multiple cities within a single mission. The B-21 Raider features advanced defense systems, including lasers developed by Lockheed Martin, protecting against threats like drones and high-speed boats. The layered laser defense system combines multiple laser beams into a single, powerful beam capable of cutting through steel. Notably, lasers eliminate the need for ammunition, enhancing crew safety. Furthermore, 
The laser is a high-resolution telescope for tracking and assessing target damage, further enhancing the raider's defense capabilities. With these advanced protective measures, the aircraft becomes nearly impervious to adversary attacks while efficiently deploying its arsenal globally. Advanced laser weapons play a pivotal role in deterring conflict and de-escalating hostilities, offering impressive offensive and defensive capabilities. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.